into Mamble Hack. New batsman for Pakistan with that very impressive batting average over 45 for innings. That's a terrific shot. Court's not bothering with the heroics on this occasion. He hasn't even moved. What a shot by Enzaman al -Hat. This float is absolute dynamite. Well, he's just about half a yard over pitch at the moment, Simon Brown. He's used to that length swinging back into the batsman. And Enzaman has just flipped that away for four. What's happened to England this morning is that both Cork and uh, Simon Brown have looked to get the ball nice and straight, hoping to find their swing. If it's short, though, there won't be any back pads, there'll just be four. Ninja Man has come out and he's played his shot from the word go and he's looking a very dangerous customer. Well, that wasn't particularly rash. It was a beautifully executed pull stroke. Ninja Man just waited for it and pulled it away over Swale. Well, Inzamam, straight down the pitch and dispatching what he made into a half volley beautifully for four. Folks like that answer the question. One of the great uh, strengths of Inzamam this morning has been how late he's played the ball. There's hardly a movement of uh, his body until he weighs up the length, that little shuffle forward, and a punch of the bottom hand. Well, that's going to be four, and no luck at all for Alan Mullally. So he's won the battle of pace there. You'll see Inzaman is caught slightly off balance for the first time. Expecting the short ball, he hasn't got his weight transferred as well as he had earlier, and he's a little bit late. You can just see that front foot fractionally off the ground. He hasn't planted it and uh, formed the balance. That's really good bowling from Malali. That's a good length, too, to uh, attack Inzaman with. That's a magnificent shot through the covers. That'll bring Inzaman or Hack his 50. He had a terrible series in England four years ago. He's looking in supreme form this time. He's played beautifully for it, and this pitch is much more like the services that he's got used to batting on at home. It's firm and dry, and without a great deal of pace. And uh, his power, his allied to his timing, is going to shine on a surface like this. 153 for four. Shadab is away, his first run in uh, Test Cricket. It's going to be very interesting to make a comparison between him and Saurav Ganguly, the Indian left hand who came into the second Test match here at Lords. The first boundary. And uh, a lot of class in that stroke because he just had to adjust and wait a fraction longer than he thought he was going to. Class, top of the class, I'd say. Have a look at this. See that later on in this contest when Wazi Makram falls to Michael Allison. Lancashire teammates, good friends. Live within a couple of miles of each other in South Manchester. There'll be no love lost when those two are each other's throat. And that has been smashed away before. Well, it doesn't matter how much you glare at the batsman if you flip him a wide half volley he's going to climb into it and crash it through extra cover as Inzaman has down on one knee it's a glorious stroke Inzaman's second four since the lunch break and his tenth in all What a terrific shot that is for four. Well, Inzaman 
All he has to do is just wait, really. There are so many gaps on the leg side that he can get a single any time he likes. And when Salisbury drops fresh and he's short, there's no pace in the pitch. Inzaman just rocks back and uh, punches the ball through the gap on the offside. The cut, punched away through the covers, probably won't go to four. Good work by Mark Elam. It's 189 for four. And that is comprehensive. Terrific shot from Inzaman to bring up the Pakistan 200. Down the pitch early, gets to the pitch of the ball, smashes it wide of the mid on. Not many achieve that in uh, test match cricket. Inzaman could have done though. There you are.
seven for seven. And now, Manning will finish the job off. Two wickets for the home side. Rally just getting the ball to swing in slightly to ease the man, a thick inside edge. It crashes into the stump. Mullally celebrates. So in the man, Ul Huck walks off, and he walks off to a standing ovation here at Lord's Cricket Ground. It has been a splendid innings by in the man. The crowd are on their feet, and that is a class performance by a cricketer we'll see a lot more of in the future.